Nick De Vries is only just about to enter his rookie season in Formula 1, a full three seasons after he won the Formula 2 title in 2019. But why is it taking him so long to finally make the step up to the premier class of motorsport? Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Joe Tyrrell and welcome back to GP Blog. Nick De Vries is somewhat of a conundrum. He's too old at 28 to be considered an up and coming rookie, but he is still a rookie who's really yet to prove his talent at the top level. However, in 2023, he'll finally get his chance in F1. And today, we're going to be looking at why it has taken him so long to join F1. First of all, there's simply just been a lack of places in Formula 1. When he won the 2019 Formula 2 title, that same year, Lando Norris, Alex Albon, and maybe more importantly, George Russell all raced in Formula 1 for the first time. Yes, they were racing in a different class, but that year saw a big turnover of drivers in seats where De Vries might have been targeting. Not only was there three new drivers, there was also a lot of interchanging between teams. Ricardo, Sainz and Kvyat, for example. That meant the following season was always going to be low on driver changes. In fact, there was only one new driver, and that was Nicholas Latifi at Williams, which was possibly a seat for De Vries, but there were always other factors at play. By that point, he was 24, which in this day and age, isn't young for a driver. Not with the likes of Russell and Norris around. In his first season in F2, he finished 7th, which is fair enough. His second season in Formula 2, he finished 4th, behind the three drivers we previously mentioned, which is a good result, given that that year was particularly strong. But that meant you could argue the following season was quite weak. Nicholas Latifi was the early front runner and finished second that year. With all due respect, Latifi wasn't a great marker. I'm not taking anything away from the achievement, but De Vries should have won Formula 2 that year, and he did. He was one of the most experienced drivers, and the field was weaker. Let's compare that to recent champions. Leclerc, one season. Russell, one season. Schumacher, two. Piastri, one year. But maybe more importantly, Drogovic took three years. He's the only other driver not to win the title in his first two seasons and he hasn't even been linked with a seat in F1. Now this whole spiel sounds like I'm criticising De Vries, but far from it, and I actually think these experiences and the ones he's had since have made him a better driver. So what can we expect? Well, we can expect a very well-rounded driver, and I'd go as far to say the best prepared of the three rookies in 2023. He arrives with pedigree. He didn't sit around as a reserve driver. He went and won the 2020-21 Formula E season, whilst gaining valuable experience on the books at Mercedes F1. He arrives as a world champion, let's remember that, and when he has won the titles, he's dominated. You can only beat what is in front of you, and he dispatched the Formula 2 grid with ease, and then he did the same against seasoned pros in Formula E. He has a history of getting results, he's never choked, and when put under pressure, he seems to thrive. Monza last year is a prime example of this, and it really was the final nail in the coffin for Latifi, and it pretty much secured De Vries a seat in 2023 out of nowhere. When it mattered, he did the business. But my biggest point of them all is he is the most experienced rookie in Formula 1 history. And I don't just mean the experience he's had outside of F1, I mean actually in F1. He's driven in some capacity now for six different teams. McLaren, Mercedes, Alpine, Aston Martin, Williams and now Alfa Tauri. That's an incredible list. He'll have knowledge of all of those setups, all of the machinery, all of their tactics, strengths, weaknesses, and he's worked around some of the best. Hamilton, Russell, Vettel, Norris, Ricardo, and that's just drivers. You've got the likes of Toto Wolff in there as well. There's so much experience there, and he's been able to take it all in. And that is why Nick De Vries is the most experienced rookie in Formula One history. <laughs> <laughs> 